So reply to star question 90A. Sir, one, farm inputs in critical infrastructure like fish feeds, two, fish seeds, three, area expansion, four, capacity building, five, low rate of interest from MCAB, B, yes, sir, C, sir, means taken as in establishment of Number one, fiberglass reinforced plastic, carp hatcheries. Two, eco hatcheries. Three, Brooders Bank in Umtiat Farm. Four, facilitate import of seeds from other states. your <coughs> supplementary. Honorable Speaker, sir, before I put my question, I just would like to congratulate one of the person who's like a brother to me who have been selected to receive the National Teachers Award. That is the Everlasting Pongro, the principal of Manken Christian Higher Secondary School. I wish him all the best, sir. <coughs> sir, <coughs> the fishery sector within our state holds a significant potential for economic growth and livelihood improvement. However, the initiative taken by the government, if you see at the reply at A and B and C also, it is quite impressive and I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister and the government. Despite of this, there are challenges in which the fish farmers are facing, like inadequate infrastructure, uh, limited market access, and also how to deal with the outbreak of disease. So with regard to this, if we see at the response at AAC, with regard to the capacity building. I would like to know from the Honorable Chief Minister to brief elaborate on the training and capacity building program provided for the fish farmer and how this program has contributed to the enhancement of the skills and their productivity. Uh, <coughs> yes, sir. The overall opportunity uh, in the fishery sector is, uh, is immense. Uh, just to give a small uh, idea to the House, sir, that our uh, rough uh, requirement a year is about 32,000 metric tons, which if you multiply in terms of the market price, plus and minus, of course, comes up to almost uh, 640 crores of annual consumption of fish in the year, in a year, sir, in the state of Meghalaya. Out of these 32,000 metric tons, sir, we are happy that because of the interventions that have taken place in the past many years, today almost two-thirds of the production, close to about 21,000 metric tons, is being produced in the state itself which means close to about 400 crores goes to our own farmers because of the large amount of investments and different programs that have been uh, put into place in the last many years. So having said that, <clears throat> currently, sir, we have approximately 5,438.73 hectares of land or I should say water area under production right now, where again, as I said, roughly about uh, uh, close to, uh, sort of about close to 40,000 farmers, in fact, more than that, are benefiting. Uh, regarding the capacity building, uh, we have different programs that are being held, uh, whether it is, uh, you know, uh, short-term courses like three-day hands-on training, uh, which takes place at the MSFRNTI uh, for uh, 25 numbers of hatchery owners 
uh, was done very recently, sir. And in the past, many, many have been done. Five-day training uh, program for feed mill owners uh, outside the state, like the College of Fisheries in Tripura. Uh, so we are also having exposure trips uh, for our progressive farmers outside the state. Recently, uh, some had been sent to Kolkata. Uh, we also having, at district level, many, many three-day and five-day training programs uh, being held in large numbers, as I said, not just at the state level, but also at the district level. So like that, sir, many training programs are being held because it is a very critical part of ensuring that all the interventions, whether infrastructure, the feeds, the seeds, uh, all of this uh, ultimately if um, our training and overall skilling is not given to the farmers, then obviously a large amount of that goes to waste. So therefore training and capacity building is a very, very important and integral part of the entire process. <clears throat> So if we look at the uh, response at uh, C, <coughs> but one, two, three, four, effort has been taken with regard specifically <coughs> to address the fish farmer with regards to especially on hatchery, which is uh, one of the important components for the fish farmer where he can support themselves. So my question to the Honorable Chief Minister is uh, steps taken to improve more infrastructure, specifically on hatcheries, and how this effort <coughs> has been funded and managed. Sir, uh, again, the fish uh, seeds, which are again a very critical part of this entire mission. Uh, so again, just to give a background and an idea to everyone, that uh, roughly we require about 75 million seeds in a year. Out of the 75 million seeds that are required in a year, our own state's production is about 24.712 million. So we have a huge shortfall of about 50 million that is there right now, sir. Uh, in order to be able to uh, take care of the overall uh, uh, increase in this uh, entire uh, production, sir. <clears throat> we have uh, about 50 numbers of fish hatcheries uh, that have been uh, made functional, sir. Uh, some of them, of course, are, uh, are under process. Uh, and I'm sorry, sir, I'll just uh, recorrect. 50 numbers of them are there, out of which nine are functional, and 34 plus another 16. Uh, 34 FRP, which is, uh, sir, the <coughs> fiberglass reinforced plastic, and 16 numbers of eco hatcheries uh, are under, product, uh, are under uh, construction, sir, and nine are currently functional. Uh, sir, we uh, have a plan uh, to ensure that uh, this production goes up, and uh, also to ensure that uh, we are able to maintain the quality we are ensuring that the government um, is monitoring these seeds that come in, number one. Number two, the production also of the banks that uh, will produce this also, the initial seeds, which will be then given to the farmers and entrepreneurs, will also be maximum produced by uh, the state. At the same time, sir, we are coming up with what we are calling the Meghalaya State Aquaculture Mission 3, so which will be launched uh, very, very soon. Uh, and uh, all details about how we will uh, ensure that more and more of these uh, seed uh, production and hatcheries are come up, come up in the state uh, are being worked out. So mostly these are being funded <clears throat> under two uh, different uh, schemes. One is the MSAM scheme, which is the Meghalaya State Aqua Mission, and one is uh, the uh, PMMSY, uh, which is the Pradhan Mantri uh, Matsya uh, Samprada Yojana, sir. And uh, under these two schemes, mostly the uh, schemes for hatcheries and all the other schemes are being funded. Yeah, we look forward that the uh, government and the fishery department, they will try to handhold the fish farmer. But we have seen the shortage of almost 50 million per year of the seeds <coughs> within the state. So my another question is that with regard to market linkage. 
we have seen effort has been taken by the government to construct fish market in different area of our <coughs> state. Few are functional, few are non-functional also. So may I know from the Honorable Ship Minister how the government will address the market linkage of fish farmer, ensuring that they have access to fair and profitable markets for the produce. Uh, yes, sir. We are uh, concerned about the overall market uh, linkage that is uh, required. Uh, sir, as I had mentioned, that uh, the uh, positive uh, aspect of this entire uh, uh, sector is that the demand uh, is huge. We still have a shortage of about 12,000 metric tons within the state itself. And hence, uh, uh, we will not have to, as of now, look at markets uh, outside the state. Uh, hence, uh, you know, small creation of small markets uh, and uh, the logistical network creation of uh, vans uh, with uh, cold storage facilities. So these are the need of uh, the hour. And hence, uh, from the government side, all these areas uh, will definitely be looked into. In fact, as it mentioned, sir, that uh, uh, this new, uh, the Meghalaya State Aquaculture Mission 2024-29, uh, uh, we have a detailed uh, uh, listing of all the uh, different aspects like cold storage, transport facilities, uh, retail units. Uh, all of these are part of the plan, and we are ensuring that uh, uh, different uh, uh, units will be there, sir. Uh, just to give an idea, sir, that uh, uh, cold storage plants, we have uh, roughly about 25 of them plan planned in the next five years. Uh, motorcycle ice boxes, we have plans are about 120 of them, uh, three-wheeler ice boxes, about 60 of them, refrigerated insulated vans, 10 of them, oxygenated vans, uh, 10 of them, retail units, that's mobile kiosks, about 75 of them. So like that, sir, uh, uh, keeping all of these aspects in mind, uh, multiple levels are being looked into to ensure that uh, the post-harvest, uh, I guess, uh, linkage for market and the logistical chain and network because this product requires cold storage for transportation. Uh, all of these aspects are being looked into, sir. <coughs> okay. no, sir. sir. Uh, he's having one more. Uh, two more, sir. This is the food. This is the food. Please. Yeah. <coughs> sir, may I know from the Honorable <coughs> Chief Minister with regard to those uh, individual application who applied uh, to different respective district for the individual pond for the construction or to improve infrastructure. May I know uh, if the Honorable Chief Minister have the detail in brief in the year for the year 2023, 24, 24, 25 only, how many have been sanctioned and what is the sanction amount for each pond? Sir, I don't have the sanction for each pond, but I can roughly tell you, sir, that uh, uh, in 2000, from 2019 to 2024, under the MSAM, we have spent close to 35 crores, where over uh, 2,000 beneficiaries, close to about 2,500 beneficiaries have benefited. Under PMMSY, um, just in the last uh, two years, uh, sir, we have spent almost close to 35 crores again there also where about close to uh, 5,000 beneficiaries have uh, benefited, sir. So um, just to give a rough idea, sir, our farmers are not large-scale farmers. So these are 0.1 to 1 hectare uh, on an average, the size of the ponds. And therefore, uh, uh, that's the kind of uh, scale at which we are working, uh, so that more and more of the uh, small-scale farmers are benefit from this. Uh, I have the list of the different uh, benefits that uh, they get, each uh, 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 scheme that uh, the benefits are there. I can read them out, but uh, detail of how much each one gets, uh, so that detail is not with me right now. But just to give a rough idea, say for example, sir, under the central scheme, uh, so uh, a new pond, for example, sir, uh, we are giving approximately 
about uh, 8.4 cro uh, 8.4 lakhs uh, per hectare per unit is given for a uh, new grow out pond. Uh, input for a new grow out pond is about 4 lakhs. Uh, construction for, of a bio flock, about 14 lakhs is given, sir. Uh, input uh, support of integrated fish farming, about 1 lakh is given. So, so on and so forth. So, there are different uh, benefits that are given under the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana, sir. And uh, <clears throat> similarly, sir, from the state scheme also, uh, we are giving approximately the same amount, like for example, new individual pond construction, about 14 lakhs uh, per unit is uh, being given by the state government. Renovation of old uh, ponds and tanks, about 11.15 lakhs. Uh, so, so on and so forth, sir, depending again on case-to-case -case basis. Uh, but this is on an average what is being given to different farmers. <clears throat> so, the last question. <laughs> so, may I know from the Honorable Chief Minister whether the fishlings, with regard to fishlings, the fishlings have been acquired from or people, farmer from the state, how much from inside the state from the farmer and how much is being acquired from outside the state? So, as I mentioned, about uh, <clears throat> 24.712 million is being done in the state itself. And 50 million uh, of them, approximately, are being procured from uh, neighboring states. <coughs> and uh, out of the 24 million that is being done, sir, uh, is mostly our local entrepreneurs who are involved in it. There are different different uh, hatcheries. About 15 to 20 of them. I don't have the list of names of those individuals, but our target is to ensure that more and more. Uh, of our local entrepreneurs start uh, producing the uh, seeds out here. So because, as I said, there's a huge market and a huge shortage. 50 million is a huge shortage. And therefore, there's a huge opportunity for entrepreneurs. And I use this uh, uh, platform to request and urge our entrepreneurs to try and get into this sector also. And the government will support in that area also, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, sir, I uh, just want to know from the Honorable Chief Minister, uh, as we know that the fish market is very large in our state, <coughs> have the government have taken into consideration that around 500 fishing competitions have been held in the state every year, and around 3 lakh kg of fish is being imported from outside the state? Uh, why not the government encourage that uh, those uh, fish uh, competition uh, organizer take the fish from the farmer of the state because of the three lakh kg, around ten crore, the fish uh, the organizer have spent importing only for the sake of organizing of fish competition, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Though this is not uh, directly part of the question, but it is definitely linked to the uh, question in overall fish production. Uh, so just for the, again, knowledge of the entire uh, house, uh, sir, the uh, fishing competition, of course, is a very popular affair in our state. And uh, we have had a lot of different situations to handle with. Uh, but I'm happy to inform that in the past, the respective deputy commissioners used to give permission at their own level. And there was no uh, proper centralized regulated system uh, in the state. So we are in the process of, number one, regulating the fishing uh, competition sector because it is important, sir. Uh, so therefore, even things like uh, where should they buy the uh, fish, we can encourage them, sir. Uh, but as I said, regulation of this is important because it is something that people enjoy. But it should be done in a regulated manner. So therefore, that process is on, sir, number one, so that everybody can enjoy it, and it's a win-win situation for all. Number two, sir, uh, as I said, uh, even now, sir, we are facing almost close to 12,000 metric tons. So that's uh, uh, roughly, sir, about 240 crores worth of fish is what uh, the shortage we have, even for our consumption in the state. So there's a huge market of about 240 crores still uh, there for people to tap into. So uh, yes, sir, the suggestion given by the honorable member will also help in increasing the revenue of the farmers. I will definitely take note of this 
and we will encourage that even for future competitions that the fish can be bought from the local farmers. So there's a good suggestion, so, but of course I, I cannot uh, comment on it or mandate it as of now. We are under the process of regulating and pro providing and, and preparing the, 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 the guidelines, sir, and we will consult stakeholders and suggest this point, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Yes. Pardon, so, please. may I know from the Honorable uh, Chief Minister, the total amount of fund spent while implementing the measures undertaken by the government? So, I had mentioned earlier, sir, uh, of course, I uh, don't have it from, the, from day one, but uh, from the MSAM 2.0, from 19 to 24, uh, close to 35 crores was spent. And under the PMMSY, from 2021 to 2023 24, approximately 33.72 crores has been spent. Uh, roughly about 67.72 crores has been spent in the last three to four years. Sir. So, what I mean to, uh, is that since the reply of the Honorable Chief Minister in this reply, sir, it seems that many measures have been t taken by the government to support the fish farmers. So. I want to know the total amount of funds spent on these measures. This is the amount. I Specific. Think. Yes. That means that, yes, that is the amount that you have yes. just said. Okay. Sir, another question that I would like to ask. Uh, I've been told by the fish farmers that uh, the fish farmers, they are not in a position to get the average size of fishes in Meghalaya. So may I know what is the reason? Why can't they get the average sizes of fish? That is uh, more of a technical uh, question. I will not be able to give an uh, exact reply to that. Uh, but sir, as I said, uh, there are different varieties of fish that are there. Um, there are different uh, uh, areas from which the seeds are being uh, bought. Uh, as I mentioned to you, sir, 75 million is the requirement every year, out of which only 25 million is produced in the state. 50 million is being brought from outside, sir. So therefore, uh, there is a lot of, uh, obviously, mix uh, of uh, supply that's coming in. Uh, uh, whatever the honorable member has said, sir, we will take note of that point. Uh, but also, I want to share with everybody, sir, that uh, on a very, very regular basis, the department conducts a study into the seeds that are being produced in the state, as well as the seeds being brought from outside, sir and continuous efforts are being made to ensure that we uh, enforce proper quality measures. Uh, and as we have been moving forward, so we have been seeing that quality improve. Uh, it is a process, but I'm sure, sir, that we will keep working on it and keep improving on it. There's always a scope and space for improvement. And we'll definitely look into the suggestion that is given by the Honorable Member. <clears throat> sir. OK, you finish your supplementary first, please. OK. Bajaj, I'll give you the time. So the Meghalaya okay. Fisheries Training and Research Institute, Mao Pond, trained uh, the beneficiaries about scientific uh, farming of fishes. But why not also the department distributes the fish seeds to be stocked scientifically? And when the, the seeds are not stocked scientifically, so how can we expect good production and total utilization of the pond? So this is the question that I also received from the fish farmer, sir. Sure. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, as I've mentioned, that um, uh, everything is a process. There was a time when uh, Meghalaya uh, was importing almost close to 75% of its fish from outside, sir. Today, after the large interventions been made by the fisheries department, we have come to a point where now two-thirds is produced within the state, sir. So things are moving forward. Uh, it does take time, sir, to see that uh, we are able to correct all the different aspects. Uh, but as I said, in, on a larger scale, things are moving in the right direction. So regarding the suggestion given by the honorable member, that is precisely how things are done, sir. Apart from giving the training uh, on how to overall improve their production and quality and all these things, we give support in terms of giving the seeds also, sir. But as I said, the seeds are in huge in demand, almost 75 million. So even for state government to cover that, uh, that gap is not very easy. Uh, and hence, uh, we do rely on outside market also. But in order to ensure that the quality is maintained from the outside market, we are testing 
uh, different levels. And we have seen that the quality has overall improved. Uh, so there are other factors also that are there uh, which affect the overall growth of the, of, the, uh, of the fish also and the size of the, uh, of the fish that is there. Uh, and uh, many, many other factors are there. But primarily, as I said, the, the, the seed is, is critical. Uh, and therefore, continuous effort is being made. As I mentioned to you, sir, the, uh, one of the primary tasks in the MSAM uh, 3.0 is going to be the focus on hatcheries. And that's why, sir, if you've seen in my primary reply, which I gave, that we are putting up 50 hatcheries uh, within the state. Nine of them are already functional. And another, uh, you know, uh, another 41 will be made functional very, very soon. And these are the steps that we are taking to ensure that the quality of the seeds is maintained. So it's a process, sir. We will not be able to see things like immediately that tomorrow that the result will come out. But the process is on and we're in the right direction, sir. Sir, uh, I have one. To, this is the feedback that we are getting from the fish farmer, sir. So I think uh, we have to be considerate and sensitive on the issue. Sir, I was told by the farmer that Cyprinus scarpio, which is commonly known as a common carp, is the easiest carp to breed and it is the most suitable species to breed in Meghalaya. So, and uh, its breeding season starts from the month of Feb to March and September to October. Till now, the fisheries department can't even produce and supply this fish to <coughs> the beneficiaries and still depend from Assam. So may I request the government through you, sir, if they can uh, introduce this type of fish so that we ca it can help also the fish production in the state, sir. Uh, we brief, yes, sir. Uh, I'll be brief, sir. Please. Sir, uh, only two points. Number one, sir, that all the other, all varieties are being looked into so that, uh, you know, there is a mix. And uh, number one, we always look at what the farmers would want more. Uh, number two, sir, uh, I have again mentioned again and again that the requirement of seeds is 75 million, sir. So no matter how much we produce from the state government, we will not be able to fulfill until entrepreneurs come in and large hatcheries are put in. And that's why 50 new hatcheries are under process. And we expect that these 50 new hatcheries being run by private sector, by the entrepreneurs, will be able to help us fill that gap. So yes, sir, the de demand is huge. Government is and department is doing. But uh, it's, it's, it's too big, sir, for government to be able to supply. But whatever is possible, we're doing, and we're trying to increase the production okay. uh, as much as possible, sir.